This is Hannah Slaney, one of the UK's top young climbers. In 2018, she was crowned Junior World Bouldering Champion and British Senior Bouldering Champion. She's aiming for a place in the 2024 Olympic squad, and I wouldn't bet against her achieving it. And my challenge is to beat her in a climbing race. First one to the top of the wall wins. Time to start learning the ropes. Gosh, what an amazing knot. There's a grading system and green is 4C. Which sounds far That's too difficult to be. Easier. There's miles on there. Yeah. Despite Hannah's encouragement, I'm struggling. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. And there's another minor issue we haven't discussed yet. No! Through can I come arms. down, please? <laughs> My massive fear of heights. Please, can I come down? Oh. Oh. Actually, that's a. Uh, I think. <laughs> Not the most promising of starts for me in this challenge, but I have got an idea. Mm. We'll resume battle next week. See ya. Cheers. Training tech for the novice climber. This stuff looks more suited to a medieval torture chamber than a domestic gym. Nevertheless, I've got to give it a go. I think I'll start with the small stuff and work upwards. It looks less painful. This is the Powerball Auto Start Pro Fusion, a device that targets grip strength plus finger and wrist flexibility. Apparently, it generates up to 16 kilos of isometric resistance for a full upper body workout. But I can't get into the swing of it. On to the next. Uh... This is the Metolius Project Fingerboard, designed specifically for climbing and bouldering. You progress through the holes, gradually reducing the number of digits holding you up. A single finger hold could be the difference between success and failure for me. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Yeah, I can't get to grips with this either. Next! This is the Omi board. It's like a normal balance board, but it's got water sloshing about. The continuous movement of the water demands constant adjustment of your balance, assuming you can get it balanced in the first place. Ooh. Time to take a load off. Now, this is the Blitz Punisher. Leg stretcher. Note the word punisher. It increases the flexibility of your lower body by literally cranking your legs open. Provided you can tolerate the pain, it'll extend to a full 180 degrees. I'm designed to be stretched. But not in my case. Onward and upward. The Maxi Climber is a vertical climbing machine that claims to engage all the major muscle groups. Because this machine uses your own body weight to provide the resistance, it's supposed to work no matter what your size, age or fitness level. But try telling that to my body. <sighs> Perhaps I need to turn this problem on its head. Oh my god. Climbers must often reach holes that seem beyond reach. The Ooh. Tita Fitzbine X1 inversion table uses your own body weight to elongate muscles and decompress oh. joints. I'm hoping oh. it'll give me a bit oh. of extra stretch. Feeling rather nauseous. Hmm, no. Oh. As the team fix my microphone, it's clear that no amount of tech can ever turn me into a decent climber. Clearly, I need to approach this challenge from a radically different angle. I'm back at the climbing centre with the answer to my climbing conundrum. As I'll never be able to compete with Hannah in the real world, I've decided to enter a VR one. That's right. My plan to defeat Hannah is to complete a virtual climb while Hannah does the real climbing alongside me. Clever, eh? The Rift S is Oculus's newest, most advanced PC-powered headset. It features a higher resolution screen to improve picture sharpness and built-in cameras for inside-out tracking. In other words, you don't need external sensors to track your position in space. And to ensure my virtual climb is glitch-free, I've coupled the headset with this top-of-the-range Lenovo gaming laptop. With a Core i7 processor and 16 gig of RAM, it'll have no difficulty keeping up. And I expect you're now wondering what I'll be scaling in my virtual world. Well, it's called The Climb, the world's first VR rock climbing game. 
This game is a collaboration between Crytek and Oculus, and there are levels for all ages and abilities, and a whole variety of landscapes to choose from. Like Hannah, I'll be climbing solo, and while we can't exactly replicate her ascent, we found a route that closely mirrors its complexity and length. Like you, Hannah, I need to uh, keep a firm grip. I've also got to chalk my hands at regular intervals and monitor my stamina levels, otherwise I fall off. Ah! Are you feeling nervous? No, not really. I'm quite excited to see how this turns out. Oh, good. <laughs> and with that, we're ready to race up the wall. The rules are very simple. First to the top wins. Three, two, one. The controllers position your hands in the game and allow you to grip on to the holds. Ooh. I'm off to a pretty decent start, but so is Hannah. As she climbs, she's clipping on at regular points, which limits how far she can fall. I've got similar save points that protect my progress in the game. Good job, really. Oh, last. It's jolly difficult if you're chalking, remembering to keep your grip on things. And it's equally important to watch your stamina levels while playing. And here my stamina's going. If your wrists turn red, you've been climbing for too long, so you need to take a break, clinging on with both hands for a few seconds. Ah. Uh, ooh, the handhold there, one there, one there. After barely a minute, Hannah has already reached the daunting overhang, and she's still not slowing down. There, there, there. Oh! But I'm hot on her heels. There's a good grip. Perhaps it's the point to do a bit more chalking. And as Hannah heads up the final face, it's neck and neck. Yes, 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 yeah! Yes! <laughs> Yes! Yeah. Yes! yes. What? Well, did you beat it to the top? I think we're going quite well, actually. I, I think we were close. Sound of it. And then all I had to do was climb onto this wretched final platform. Yeah. And then I'd, then I'd have finished. And, but, uh, well, look. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> In fact, I was still trying to mount it when Hannah joined me. Hello. <laughs> Nearly a minute later. Ah, there we are. Woo. So she'd been to the top and come down to the bottom by the time you got up there. Yeah, the trouble was, I thought you had to jump onto it by doing that. It transpires, you just had to put two hands on it and you'd be on it. And I spent a minute working that out. <laughs> I think in the heat of the moment, I'd forgotten how to play the game properly and I lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair to say, though, John, they put you through the ringer on that. Anyway, scoreboard. Gadgeteer zero, Olympians two. Uh...